we are now proceeding to the retained income retained income right the retained income notes the balance at the beginning is not given only the balance at the end the final dividends and the balance at the end according to the answer sheet was given final dividends it was the amount of 213,400 given in the answer sheet here and then the final answer was 1,196,000 1,196,000 this information was provided in the answer sheet right now let us look at our question paper to be able to do the retained income note if we check for the balance at the beginning for the retained income it was not given the balance at the beginning was not given right and what is required here is the net profit after tax the net profit after tax so let's check for the net profit after tax in our question paper on page five there is an information which talks about tax but about the net profit that is information c information c it says income tax for dm after taking into account all adjustments amounted to 438,000 that is income tax and this is 30 percent of the net profit so income tax amounted to 438,000 so this amount is for the income tax and it is 30 percent of the net profit so we know that the net profit before tax is 100 and then if tax is 30 percent then it means the net profit after tax will be 70. the net profit before tax is always 100 percent and if tax is 30 percent then the net profit after tax will be 70. 100 minus 30 equals to 70. so we are looking here for the net profit after tax so this 438,000 must be multiplied by 70 and you divide it by 30 you multiply by the percentage of the amount that you want and you divide by the percentage of the amount given the amount given is 438,000 and it's income tax and we are told here that income tax is 80 percent so you multiply by the percentage of the amount that we want we want the net profit after tax so it is 70 and you divide by the percentage of the amount given the percentage of the amount given is 30 so therefore it's going to be 438,000 multiplied by 70 divided by 30 so the net profit after tax is 1,022,000 1,022,000 1, that is our net profit after tax our net profit after tax is 1 million and 22,000 shares repurchased we know here this is retained income and what is it that is recorded here it is the above average and in information b we were told under share capital and dividends page 5 we were told that 80,000 shares were repurchased from a retired shareholder he was paid 20 percent which is 136,000 above the average share price 136,000 above the average share price so the amount for the above average was given so the above average was 136,000 and because we are buying back shares this is reducing our retained income so therefore this amount must be in brackets ordinary share dividends ordinary share dividends this also decreases ordinary share dividends decreases our retained income and the ordinary share dividends are divided into two we have the first one which is the interim and the second one is the final so these two amounts are added together they are added together in order to give us the amount for the ordinary share dividend so the final dividend was given which is 213,400 but the interim dividend was not given 
So let us check as to how are we going to calculate the interim. Still on page 5, information B, I think is the third transaction on the 31st of August 2021, an interim dividend of 28 cents per share was paid. And remember, if we go a little bit back to 30 August 2021, 80,000 shares were repurchased from a retired shareholder. He was paid 20%, 136,000 above the average share price and would no longer qualify for dividends. This shareholder will no longer qualify for dividends. Remember, the dividends at the beginning of the year was 900,000 and we bought back 80,000 shares. So 900,000 minus 80,000 shares so that will give us a total of uh, 820,000 so that's going to be 820,000 shares so the total number of shares in issue at the time when we paid the interim dividends was 820,000 shares why are we not counting the 80,000 shares repurchase it is because we were told that these shares no longer qualify for dividend so the dividend interim dividend is going to be calculated on 820,000 shares and the interim dividend here is 28 cents so that's 820,000 shares multiplied by 28 cents 820,000 multiplied by 28 cents 820,000 multiplied by 28 cents that is giving us 229,600 that's giving us 229,600 Yes, 820,000 multiplied by 28 cents is giving us 229,600. So interim dividend of 229,600 plus final dividends of 213,400. That is giving us the total dividends of 443,000. Dividends is made up of two two dividends ordinary dividends the total dividends is made up of the interim plus final so we have 229,600 plus 213,400 which is giving us 443,000 so we all have the amount that we need in the retained income note except for the balance at the beginning which is going to be our balancing figure. So are we, how are we going to get it? We will have to work backwards, starting from the balance on 28 February 2022. Please take your calculator and let's work it out. The first amount that we are punching is the closing balance or the balance on 28 February, which is 1 million, this balance, 1,196,000. 1,196,000 and then we are reversing to the ordinary share dividends which is the total remember these two amounts they make up this total so we then reverse to the ordinary share dividend which is the total of 443 because it's a negative amount then when we are reversing it is going to be a plus 1,196,000 plus 443,000 right plus 136,000 minus 1,022,000. 1,022,000. And, 22, 1, and 22, equal to 753,000. 753,000. That is 753,000. So the balance on the 1st of March is 753,000. So this is our retained income note. The balance at the beginning was not given. Net profits after tax, we were only given the income tax. Then we had to calculate uh, the net profits after tax. We were told that tax is 30%. So you multiply by the percentage, which is 7. We want the net profit after tax divided by 30. That's the percentage of the amount given. Shares repurchase, the above average price was given. 
the ordinary share dividends the interim was not given we had to calculate it final dividend was given so the structure of the retained income note remains like this it does not change so it's very important for students to understand the structure to know the structure by heart because it will be difficult for one to put the amounts if you have forgotten the structure